Thrifty Southerner, back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all have all had a fantastic week. I have had a great week, and I found some really great things this week. I um, went to a few garage sales, found a couple things there, and then I also went about two hours from where I live and went to all the thrift stores over there and found a plethora of stuff. So I'm excited to show y'all what I got today, so let's get started. All right, so it's kind of out of order. This thing was in a different area, so I'll just show y'all. I got this at a garage sale, and it's just an over-the-door quad hook from Target, brand new. It had three on it. I got it for two. I'm going to use this in my guest bathroom because when we have people stay right now, we just have one little hook that has two sides on it, and um, this is a lot nicer for people to hang their towels when they visit, so... Not too exciting, but very, very helpful for me. Then, again, another random thing. I got this at a thrift store over there where I went, and it's DW Candles. You can get these at Marshalls or sometimes Ross or TJ Maxx. And they, uh, they have really good throw. So this little guy is sandalwood and myrrh, and I'm gonna put it in my bedroom. I think I've told y'all before I use these. Sorry, I gotta smell it again. I use these in my bedroom, these smaller ones. And it was 69 cents, which was a good deal. It's uh, not ever been burned. All right, let's get into, actually, let me show you the two pairs of shoes I got, and then we'll get into purses. So I found each, so I went to a place, and they had a bin of $2 shoes. And this, again, was in that town. Most everything else, I think, that I got... There's a few things at the end that are garage sales, but I'll tell you those. Everything else I got when I went out of town. So these are Lucky Brand, and they they look to be pretty much brand new. Um, they still got the plastic thing on them. They are a size six and a half, and they are super cute. I wish they were my size. Lucky, I really like Lucky Brand stuff. So these are six and a half. It looks like they were originally $25 and they, I mean, like at the store and then they marked them down and got all the way down to being in a $2 bin. So, score for me. I will be selling those because obviously they're not my size. And then I also in the $2 bin, and these look to be brand new too, and it looks like they were originally $23. Um, little driving loafers, little pink, Pink Nubok driving loafers, which are, again, super cute and would totally work. They're my size. I'm sure they're six and a half, too, because I will bet you that the same person owned both of these. Oh, I don't know what the size is. Let me compare it. Yeah, it's a six and a half or a seven. Again, you guys, I should have checked this stuff before I started, but I'm pretty sure they're a six and a half or a seven, so. Oh, wait, six. They're six. So there you go. Size six, the white of six and a half. Then I found for myself, I'll show you the random stuff first. Uh, I found for myself this really cute tunic, and it was marked down to $3. And I thought it was super cute. Lightweight. Cute with leggings or ripped jeans. And then I got this for my little one. And it was half of $9.99, so it was $5. Um, and she loves these little rompers, so because she doesn't have to match pants and shirts. She can just throw it on. I'm always getting on there. I'm always like, uh, that does not match. Let's go back. We're not homeless. So, anyway. All right, purse time. So, I got this for $8. And it is a Juicy Couture. Really, really cute. Can y'all see? Little crowns. I had never seen one like this before, so thought it was adorable, and it's got little scrolls. It does have a couple of little spots here, but I'm going to try to get those out, and they're so hard to see. I actually didn't see them until I went to pay for it and set it on the counters. You can 
see right there. Um, the only other thing is the edge coating has kind of worn off over here, but it looks like it was so thin to begin with that I wouldn't even, I mean, I don't even know that I'd try to touch it up. I don't know. It's just because these are really flexible uh, straps, and honestly, with a, fl a strap that's that flexible, edge coat's going to crack, so I'm not really sure why they put that on there. Um, inside is the same. Like I said, this is velour. Inside is the same pattern, just larger and in like a canvas. Um, bottom's leather. Okay, so I paid A for that. This will also be for sale. Oh, this guy's really cute. Got it for seven, I believe. Let me double check. This is a fossil. And it's super cute. It's a little crossbody or shoulder bag that I would wear it as a crossbody probably. It's got your key. Super cute. The only thing I see on this is just, it's really hard to see because it's on the top. There's a slight little dark spot right there. Hardly noticeable. And it locks like that. And then you just pull up on it. And it opens. And then it's got a really nice um, detail here is that it's got, it's navy and, and shades of blue and, and green. And then you've got your brown straps. So very cute. Um, and it's got this interesting little tiny back pocket. I guess you could put your phone in it. I don't know if it's, I film with my phone, so I don't know if it's big enough. But if it is, it would be the perfect cell phone pocket. It seems like that's what it's meant for anyway. So that will also be for sale. Um, in fact, all of these will be for sale except for the one that I'm using now, which I forgot to bring in here. So when I'm gonna get to that point, I will pause the video and go get it. Here is a was a $3 purchase. This is one of the older Michael Kors, back when he had silver, um, I assume it was silver, it's silver coated, silver plated, it's, I'm sure it's not real silver. So all of this can be shined up, take Michael Kors. It's really cute the chain and you've got all these little guys say Michael Kors on them I feel like some of these older bags were a little bit more better quality that's just my opinion um, here's the inside pretty clean you've got your lanyard and your Michael Course. So, I thought that was a great deal. It's super cute. It's like a faux croc. And it's like a purple, like purple, uh, medium purple. Very cute. Okay, and then this one I was extremely excited about. They had, um, they had it on sale and then it was another 75% off of all bags. So I got this guy for $20 and it is a Hamilton. And it's the Splash Collection, I think, is what this is called with this ombre stripe. It's in excellent condition. There is a little bit of peeling on the lock right there. Don't know why. And then the feet, are slightly scuffed just from setting it down. There are some spots on here, but I have not cleaned it with leather cleaner yet. So I feel like those will come off. Even the handles are in good condition. The edge coating's in great condition. This is a beautiful bag. It is a smaller Hamilton. Um, it looks like there is a tiny, maybe not. Maybe a tiny scratch right there. It's hard to see. Anyway, it's in excellent condition. It's got the shoulder strap with it. So I was stoked to get that for 20 because I know that I can get um, a good return on that. Okay, so then the second to last thing that I got while I was in Tyler was this juicy bag. And it is adorable. It was 1250, which I know is a little pricey for secondhand shopping, but I thought it was adorable. It's got the juicy with the embossed, and it's got juicy. Really pretty, and if you are not a fan of juicy, but you just love it, you can just take these off. Like, not a big deal. 
It's got these two little pockets. The leather is so soft, beautiful. Hardware's not rubbed at all, the gold hard hardware. Um, here's this, the lanyard says, I am the fairest, and it's got your little mirror. They always have some cute stuff going on inside their bags. And there's your lanyard. And as I've said in the past, Juicy's having a renaissance, so that's cool. All right, I'm gonna pause it so I can show y'all the last purse that I got from Tyler, and then I'll show you the few other things that I have left. Just hold on. All right, so the last purse that I got was a Rebecca Minkoff, and I am using it. And it's very, very cute. It is worn in a few places. You can see right here. This makes a great cell phone pocket. Um, it does have some wear. The leather's a little dingy. And there are some spots on it where it's rubbed, but that doesn't really bother me. There's some spots on the bottom. I just thought it was super cute. I paid $12.50 for it. And I like that it's a it's basically a bucket bag. So you can kind of Reach in there, organize all your stuff, and then find it when you need to. And so I will be keeping this, maybe not forever, but for right now. And again, I paid $12.50 for it. Super cute. Cleaned it really well. Like I said, it does have some wear, but I'm happy with it. Okay, so then at my thrift store here in town, I did find, and I forgot how much I paid for this one, Oh, no, no, no. This was at Salvation Army, so they don't mark their stuff. So now all of Salvation Army's purses where I am, they used to price them differently. They're all $4.99. And this is a keeper, fossil keeper. And I do have a couple of viewers that in the past have asked me if I have any keepers. So here's a keeper. It's quilted. It's got a strap, which could make it a shoulder bag or a crossbody. It doesn't have the thing that's supposed to be hanging off of it, though. And then I think that they have like a big thing on the keepers. That is missing. There's the inside. Very, very cute. Zips all the way across with the big zipper, big fossil zipper. That will also be for sale. Oh, sorry. This I got and after I got it, I noticed that it had a rip in the bottom of it. So it's kind of a bummer. But I only paid a dollar for it. But I just thought it was so cute and I'm so disappointed. Um, this is a banana. <laughs> gap. This is a gap tote shh, shh, bag with leather trim, leather handles, leather back here. Really cute pocket. It's got like a sheen to it, a slight sheen to the fabric. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And um, it's funny because they got it. It's still got the tag from Goodwill in it. They paid $6.99 and I bought it for a dollar. And I checked it out, checked it out, but I didn't notice that it has this little hole here. So if anybody's still interested in it, you could easily patch that. It's a great bag. Let me know and I'll give you a really good price on it. Shh, Baron. Sorry, y'all. So, anyway, that's that. And then last, oh, and then I got this iced gingerbread um, hand sanitizer. I paid 50 cents for it. And then I realized that it was the older Bath & Body Works stuff that has the triclosan in it. Triclosan, if you guys don't know, is a hormone disruptor. It's really not good for you to use. And a lot of antibacterial stuff used to have it in there. Most companies have taken it out now. And Bath & Body Works did. And so I will not be using this, but it was only 50 cents, so. All right, last but not least, at a garage sale, I got this little guy. It's a sack and I got it, it says $2. I think I got it, no, I think I paid two for this. So I got the same place I got the um, over the door thing. So I paid two for this. I have not conditioned it yet. It does need to be conditioned. It doesn't have the little sack thing that hangs off. Um, but it's got some interesting, hold on, these are stuck in there. It's got some interesting, um, what am I trying to say? 
architectural details, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. I've already mowed my front and back lawn today and taken all of our dogs for a walk, so I'm kind of tired. Okay, here's the inside. Good old sack. Anyway, that's that. So, that was my haul. I think it was really great. If you are interested in any of these items, you may join my Facebook group. It is Thrifty Southerner Finds. And you'll have to ask to join. It is a closed group. I will accept you. And then you can ask me about any of these items. I don't post anything on there, so you'll just have to post an inquiry about it. I'll let you know how much it is, how much shipping is. We can discuss. You can get more pictures, etc., etc. Um, if you are not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will leave my email in the description box below. If you are a new viewer, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I do these kind of videos once a week, as well as some other random ones. In fact, next week I'll be doing... Um, more of what bags I have available. Oh, and somebody left me a great... Oh, these bags need a hump. Hush! Shh! I'm sorry. These bags need a home. I think somebody, and I'll, I will announce in that video, I will recognize them for coming up with that name. Um, that's going to be the new name of what bags I have available for each month. So it'll be These Bags Need a Home, June Edition. So, whoever it was, I'll give you recognition next week, but thank you for that. That is the new name. I'll be doing that next week, and then, of course, another Thrifty Thursday next week. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and again, any new people would love to have you subscribe. And please feel free to share this video as well. Until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.